Hi everyone, welcome to the 89th session of Python for Machine Learning. In this session, I'll show you how to get the valuable information from the IP address. Suppose if we have a data set where one of the column is IP address, then if we can unearth the importance of this IP address, we can get valuable information in the form of the cities, the country, all the different kind of information we can get from this. So as usual, what? so first of all, what we'll do, I'll import pandas. You can, if if you have not installed a PYG or IP, then you have to just, uh, if you are installing it here, you can just give pip install PYGEOIP or you can open your anaconda prompt and you can install it from there. Now what I'll do, I'll execute this. After this, what uh, suppose I have an IP address. In order to like get the information, you need to install the that file type. Just open this link. Yeah. And then you need to come here and whatever information you need to extract, you can download this file. Okay. Dot that file save target as. Okay. And the dot file, that file will be installed. So I've already installed in my working present working directory whatever information is required i will get it from here so now i will start with my coding so what i will do i'll create an object gi is equals to py so the country at which it belongs is us now if i want to get the full name of the country then i can say gi dot country by name and then I can give the same IP address. Okay. There instead of code by name, name underscore by underscore. So you can see we are getting the full name. But only getting the name of the country or a particular uh, like city, it won't help us that much. So what we need to do, we will use something different that will fetch us the huge chunk of data. For example, I'll show you like this. And then what I'll do, I'll give gp dot record by address so you can see we are getting a dictionary here where we have the area code we have the city we have the continent country code county code country name country a uh, different kind of country codes the dma code the latitude and longitude the time zone and all the metro code posts everything we will get so the thing is like this is good we are executing it for just one ip address imagine we have a data set or a data frame we have around thousands of IP address and in the real world scenario where the big companies the e-retail e e e and the like Amazon, Flipkart and the, like different kind of companies where they have n number of people uh, going to the site if they want to do some analysis. So this is how you can get the information of, of your users and then you can segregate based on the country, based on the city, based on the particular zip code. So what I will do, I have a data set a data set so we have this data frame which contain the IP address okay after we <clears throat> so once we do this what I will do we need to loop in and we need to get the related informations so what I will do I'll say IP1 I'll create a list IP1 is equal to this and then for X in range len of df I'll say so it will loop in like this is the row and this is the column that's how it will work and after this what we will do I will ip1 dot append this z all the row will be appended one by one that's how it will work now if I execute this line okay so what happens is my ip1 is successfully created See, each and everything, each and every row here is a dictionary. This is also a dictionary. This is also a dictionary. 
Now, the real challenge comes in when we have something called none none type like between the one of the row will be none type and so how to handle this okay now if you want see uh, there are around uh, 10 to 15 columns in this ip for each data set if you see area code is one city continent so there are around 10 to 12 columns in will that will be formed when we create our data data frame so but before that we have to get what are the columns and how we will get that success converting a dictionary into a like data frame is very easy it will be simply like df1 is equal to pt dot data frame ip1 comma you need to pass your columns columns which is equals to you see here it is the like first is area code followed by city continent everything right so the first is area code followed by city then we have continent so what i will do so what i will do i will do it directly like i will save some time and this is created now, if you want to execute this, this will throw some error. None type object is not iterable because in between when we create our uh, this list, we have something that none type object. So what we need to do now is we need to do some exception handling. And how do we achieve this? So this will be directly like we will loop for i n range len of i p 1. And then we'll check if IP1 I if is not none. Okay. Then what we'll do before this, we'll create one more IP list. IP2 is equals to is empty. Okay. And after this, we'll IP2 dot append and we will pass IP1 i the subscript and then in the, at the same time we'll print ip this is not required but for my own uh, like satisfaction i will do this so if i execute this now what will happen what's going to my ip2 is again created and See, the number of counts here is 199 and when we have filtered it using this is not none. Now the number of count is 173. So you can see now there is no record which says none type. Okay. And now if we create this data frame, now if we create this data frame, it will be created successfully. So if you open this DF2, it will be like we have the area code, we have the city, continent, country code, country code 3, then you have like uh, the country name, DMA code, latitude, longitude, metro, all the metro code, postal code, everything is here. Note, for some of the uh, like record data is not there, so you have to handle it accordingly. It's a kind of missing value condition or you can use some uh, like powerful uh, tool to get more uh, like uh, to get the data which is even more efficient. So this is one technique where we get the data so that's it for the session but before uh, like winding off i want to just uh, recap what i have uh, what we have learned in the session first of all i have uh, like if you want to install through the command line here just give colon and uh, not colon this exclamation mark pip install pygeoip Either you can do it from here or you can open your conda uh, like um, prompt and a conda prompt and from there also you can do the same. Once that is done, you need to install whatever that file, the database, whatever you want to use, you need to uh, you need to download it from this site dev.maxmind.com uh, dev and uh, geo legacy geolite from this site you need to get it. And uh, once that is done, you need to just uh, before running your main uh, code, you need to just check whether it is running or not. The objects, whatever we have created, GP and GI is giving you the proper result or not. And then you need to uh, start with the main code. 
how to get the valuable information like this is IP address here it will not work because there was none type so you have to do the exceptional handling and once that is done you will get your data frame this is the final data frame uh, like then what you need to do is you need to apply label encoding because machine learning will any of the algorithm will not uh, will read your whatever the strings you pass so you need to handle it according using the label encoding which already I have explained in my previous session so this is how we will unveil the IP address to get the valuable information and this will be huge help in case if you are doing some real world machine learning analysis. So thanks a lot for watching the session. If you feel this video is helpful, please, uh, please uh, subscribe to this channel and if you have any query or doubt, please post in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.